at Quintro, where we focus on tasting menus and where we focus on sourcing the best ingredients that we possibly can all the way through. Using A5 Wagyu is definitely a luxury, but it's also something that you can definitely trust as a product. And you can really tell that these small farms hold true to their craft and create a nuanced product that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. And there's nothing like this anywhere else in the world. Obviously, I don't have a direct link to any of these farms and purveyors in Japan. So one thing that the Wagyu shop does really well is that it finds all these farmers so that I then have access to what they are producing. They've been importing A5 Wagyu for over a decade. So what that means is that they've built really strong lasting relationships and that ensures that we're going to be able to get this product consistently. So this is an A5 Wagyu tataki, where we've seasoned and seared the outside and sliced it really thin. We've given it a salad of different cucumbers in many forms. So we have some raw slicing cucumbers, fresh lemon cucumber. We also have a little bit of nectarine and some cured cucumber as well. And we're going to dress the whole dish with some ponzu and some sesame, some smoky trout roe, and that rounds out the dish really nicely. It's really nice to work with such a high quality product. When you're slicing into the meat, you can really just feel how malleable the fat is. This is what makes this A5 so special. When it comes down to using A5 in a raw application, it's really nice because it has such soft mouth feel to the point where it almost melts in your mouth because that fat is so soft and so delicious. This is our A5 Wagyu beef tartare. We give it a light smoke because I think that there's a high element of fat in this dish and that smoke plays really nicely with the fat content. And then when we're done, we're gonna dress it with mustard seeds, pickled red onion, pickled celery, Worcester sauce, Dijon mustard, and olive oil and lemon juice. At which point we'd put it on a nice piece of focaccia that we've grilled. We're gonna dress it with an egg yolk jam. We then cover it in a really lovely Gouda cheese and some fresh squash blossoms from the farmer's market. These two dishes are just kind of a representation of the versatility and quality of the A5 Wagyu that we have gotten from the Wagyu shop.